Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs.
general. We should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The Moon God sends you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her! My king? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> <laughs>
gods give me strength. been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. You are wrong. Our king sacked the temple at the pool. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. Follow the fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I've got you. Help me with this. Follow me. There is a way out through the storm. Tomb? Yes, for the builders when they're done. Come. Guardian? Scared of a rodent? I have seen it all now. All this death. For nothing. They died in vain. For a mad king.
Here, help me with this. You first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. There is always hope. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. Over here. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run... Then we both die. Ready your sword!
Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It's filled with untold stories, stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or failed. Trip. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Is my briefing room prepped? Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? 
Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. All right, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. We should put this on ice. On ice? Just like that? So what, we just, we just stop? Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. If my husband is here. For crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? From now on, we just, just have to keep a little distance. Sounds like an order, ma'am. Say no more. I get it. Shit. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down on candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA. We got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah, well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on, huh? You want to spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> shit me, right? Crap, he's not shitting me. Give the Colonel full sight access. Sir. If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, Hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment.
Brett, let's get you set up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Well, that's exactly what it is. I guess the damn like to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> well, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. This is my team now. What are you talking about? I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Oh, sh Are you serious? Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. Okay. So I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? The fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. 
This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. Well? This team barely know each other. And you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. They're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're forced recon. It's their job to be ready. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rach, this is it. Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Look, Eric, we'll talk when we have time. But not here. Not like this. You're still wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. But you got in that box of tricks anyway. The fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Thank you. 
Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke, that's all. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. Think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? He's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost? Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind the desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need him. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a hard ass and he wants us to know it. But I ain't bothered by that. I like it, actually. Guy's a corn cob off his ass. We're heading, believe me. We're gonna need someone tough in control. Zane, and a gate. Zane?
Arf. Sehen? Und jetzt haben wir schon mal die Is he in Tanny? Ah, but... Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Of course. Did you come? Yes, I came. He's Zain with... With... هو زين مع ابنك؟ طارق ايوه طارق هما مع بعض راحوا ياخدوا الاتوبيس بقى لهم ساعة كله بخير؟ لا لا كله تمام اصل كان عيد ميلاده وانا جبت له هدية هنية كويسة اه لما يرجع ابعتهولي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجوا انت عارف الولاد أي وقت ابعتوا لي لو سمحتي طبعا لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي أوه. كابتن بصري أهلا أنا ملازم لازم أتحرك على طول أنت بتقول إيه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو؟ يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السلم العدو جاي ودي أرضنا وإحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم؟ مطلوب تأكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا لك إحنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا ما أدارش أعمل ده يا فندم ابني محتاجني ده أمر يا جندي مش طلب ده واجب عليك فهمت هرجع البيت قريب خلاص يا دار دي آخر مهمة Hey, Merwin, what's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? 
Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look, your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, now I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long you been sitting on now? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn, Rachel. <laughs> hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper five. Semper five. Semper five? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 سحن الخنازير بيطيروا الحيهبط قالوا نفسكم يا رجالة الامريكان العسكر الامريكان قم sir we've been made awaiting orders Alpha team, shot the building in front. Copy that. CQC, move! On me. Go! Do it, Bolton! Clear room! Clear! Call down is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LC and bring in the Colonel.
This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. Sir, we secured the farm with minimal casualties. Casualties? How minimal are we talking? Took one down. Was this casualty a hostile or a civilian, Lieutenant Kolchak? We didn't get a chance to make introductions, ma'am. Was he armed? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one? What does that mean, Lieutenant? We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. Good job, Lieutenant. The silo is here somewhere. We just need to locate it. Rest assured, Colonel. We'll find it. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the virgins. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? What happened here? He doesn't look like a hostile. All due respect, but you weren't there and I ain't taking no chances. Well, that's just great. It is what it is. No, Lieutenant, it's not. You killed a man. But maybe we can use this to our advantage. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مغزن السلاح Any orders, ma'am? I think you've done enough already, don't you? هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المغزن؟ What the hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. Ada. Hatarafu Rayu. What the fuck? Into Kam Hina. enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. Tell me where the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. Stand down, Lieutenant. The only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. Keep a firm eye on this one. Marines, 
search the whole farm. I mean every inch of it. Look under every bed, shed, and outhouse. The entrance to the silo is close by. Go find it. shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Got some gas masks here. أنا بشخص الحكومة الأمريكية. أنت في موقف صعب جدا. مهم إنك تقول الحقيقة. فين مدخل المغزى؟ That's heroin. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. In like ticks. We're closing in. We gotta get to go. Yeah, fuck you too. Let's burn fuckers out with WB. We can't use phosphorus against people. Oh, come on, you rather us hold hands and sing kumbaya around the fucking campfire? Shut the fuck up for a second and let me think. What's think about, huh? We're getting massacred. Permission to use WB! 
Burn him out! I'm gonna flank him! Give me some cover and get Joey out of there! Dying, Nick. Bullshit. Nick. Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. Well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. Liar. Say it very much. Fight back! God damn it. All call signs, this is drop kick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Drop kick, this is Killjoy 2. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. <sighs> this getting worse? Down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Fuck! Doesn't anyone speak English anymore? You better not miss. killing Jason! Jason! I'm close, man! I'm coming!
Dude. something. Where on God's green earth have we landed? We need to get back topside, regroup with the rest of the squad and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant K, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. I saw something. What do you mean, saw something? I mean, it wasn't human. In a tunnel. <sighs> Should have never gotten off that helo. I fucking knew it. I knew you weren't ready for this. I swear to God, do not get God involved in this bullshit. Now, I don't want to hear another fucking word. You pull your shit together right fucking now before you get us both killed. You gotta believe me. No, you believe this, Sergeant. You didn't see shit. We need to get out of here right now. You ever seen anything like this? What the hell is this place? Bass. Flunked history at school. thing is heavier than it looks. Give me a head. I'm gonna need some more muscle. I'm skipping Jim again. <clears throat> That's Merle. <clears throat> Jesus, I'm <clears throat> trying. Will you stop squirming around? He's bad. He's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Nick, I need you here. Cut the wires. Oh, I fucked. He's so fucked. You don't think I can hear you? You're gonna pull through, brother. Suck it up. There's no thing in my pack. Grab it. We're gonna pump you up, okay? We got this. You keep lookout. Fuck! Lookout for what? Jesus, who the hell loaded these packs? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Clarice? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
أنا الملازم سليم عثمان لكل الجنود أنتوا فين؟ حول أنت فين؟ هو بتاع ده ماشي كابتن دار هذا تسمعني؟ عد الرسالة حول كابتن زفت دار إذا قادك تسمعني أنا مش عارف في 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 كهف بحاول أخرج بحاول أخس آه. أنا كان عندي مشاريع النهاردة أستحمى أسمع موسيقى احتفلت ميلاد ابني بس لا دق على باب انا لا لما كان جايين لما كان جايين بص احنا فين دلوقتي قلنا ما انا عارف انا فين في حد موجود هنا في حد هناك حد سامعني
Alo.
Here's quick draws rope light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. Let's do it. Well, that's a steep drop to nowhere. We've got rope. Hey, look. There's an airflow. I say we climb. So when did you start smoking? Excuse me? The lighter. Uh, it's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base. Are you ready? Are you? This place doesn't look much like a weapons silo to me. If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. I guess we could classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality time. Remind you of old times, Rach? You mean the sense of feeling lost? It looks old. Old? It's ancient. But that's... cuneiform. Sumerian, maybe? What is this place? You're quite the expert on history. Didn't realize. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think. seems stable. Yeah, it looks fine. certain cool under pressure. What do you think this place is? Hard to say. These carvings look religious. I think we may be in a temple. It's Pazuzu. Pazu who? Pazuzu. You know, watch horror movies? You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. Something to do with plagues, I think. Plagues and demons, huh? Great. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this at all. Yeah, you and me both. Great, that's all we need. I think we 
can move it? Looks jammed pretty tight. What is it? You didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something down there. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. I wonder what happened here. That's gunfire. Where's it coming from? <laughs> we should move. Can you make anything out? That's... it's deep. That looks safe to you? It's our only option. Get the rope. We're going down. Unbelievable. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. I'm sorry, Eric. For real. You put everything into this research. More than you'll ever know. You can't blame yourself. I'll learn from this. I'll go back and work twice as hard to rewrite the program. Kalos will be stronger than ever. You don't think I can do it? You don't believe in me? There's no use in dwelling on it. We need to focus on the task ahead and find a way out of this place. The hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? <laughs> It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. You regretting not calling for additional air support yet? There you go, reading my mind again. Wherever you are, Nick, I hope you're safe. Eric, check this out. Why would there be a machine gun here? It's a World War II model. Ties in with the time the archaeologists were here. What the fuck happened here? What do you think the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Each and every one of them. They'll muscle through. Who could they have been up against? Fuck. That's a hell of a lot of fireworks.
Maybe climbing out of the cavern back there would have been the smarter move. The way I see it, if these people were here before us, there must be another way out. Why would they do that? Look at this place. It doesn't add up. We need to get these lights running ASAP. I can't see shit. I'll take that, thank you. All call signs, this is King. Does anyone copy? Over. Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. Uh, tell me I had a little luck. <sighs> How's the lake holding up? Lake? Oh, you mean the prosthesis. I lost my light back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I didn't make it easy on you, Rage. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Mom, let's get to work. Shine a light on the tank. Wrong. Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gotta be something here to fix it. You got it? I've got it. Is this a good time to talk? That depends. What's on your mind? Back at the base, you said we'd talk when the time was right. Well, looks like we've got the whole place to ourselves. This has got to be the worst date ever. Why'd you pick this dump? Yeah, I don't know what happened. The reviews were good. Wait, hang on a sec. I think I fixed the leak. Hold the fuel pipe. It's done. Hey, give me a hand with this panel. <clears throat> Look at the state of these. They're shot. Feels like so long since we worked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Rachel, we both allowed each other space and this break. I mean, look what it's done for our careers. You, a field officer for the CIA, and I mean, Kalis could change the face of the entire war. If it ever decides to work, sure. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. Past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else.
Your work is bigger than the both of us. Like, I don't think either of us could have foreseen the impact it would have. Rach? Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rach. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then, I don't know, things seem confused, but now, it just seems simpler. Maybe there's hope for us after all. That should do the trick. Let's fire her up. We have power. There was a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. Over. September the twenty fourth, nineteen forty five. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for our honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye, a Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site, a gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work. A map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Zagros Mountains. This place is starting to make me feel a little uneasy. to these guys.
How can something this vast have remained hidden for so long? Locals were spooked by these mountains. <laughs> Can't say I blame them. Eric, take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? The tape is all tangled up. Fine, I can fix that. Looks like that ring still means something to you. I don't see you wearing yours. Always close to my heart. You're always a good guy. You're too good for me. I haven't forgotten what this ring means to me. I want you back, Rachel. I knew it. What do you want from me, Eric? The truth can be a good start. What does that mean? Well, you're better than you think, Rachel. You lied to me about that lighter, and it wasn't about a secret smoking habit. Eric, Tell please. me the truth. Don't do this. Admit it. There's someone else, isn't there? The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and rouse something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. Hello? Shit! I don't know, man. It was not supposed to play out like this. Any call signs? This is King. Contact, contact. Taking fire. Just have to be over. That's Rachel. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. Say again. Over. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. How can I be over? Damn it. Simple this goddamn place. You're not serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming.
your range. I got you. nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. Bonds that were once thought unbreakable have now been cut free. The heart is always the first to fall. What of Jason and Nick? Brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Let's not forget that they've already lost Corporal Merwin to the dark, and the night is still young. Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed, an almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out, unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. A prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard, but out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. Merwin. It was an accident. Just like the woman at the checkpoint. Don't make shit weirder than it already is. Clear your fucking mind. Colonel, is that you? What happened to Rachel? We were ambushed by the enemy. He opened fire on us. 
bridge. She fell. I, I held on. I held on as, as, as hard as I could, I swear. She was taking me down with her. I had to. I had to cut the rope. Rachel! We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. We need to fall back now. Over there. Let's go. Oh. Look at that. Slow down. You can still be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. How copy? Over. Joey, report in. Over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh, no, not Joy. The hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Monsters? Come on, you're jumping at shadows. Sir, with all due respect... Lieutenant, we're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick! Take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Oh, fuck your satellite. Good men have died. Clarice is gone. Your wife is dead, Eric. You led us on a suicide mission. Hey. I'm still in command here. You'd better remember your rank, Lieutenant. I'll get us out of here. You got us into this mess. You better get us out. Don't repeat that? That's what I thought. Stay and guard the entrance. We'll check it out. So this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills, we're all doomed. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. There's the generator. Let's go take a look. We need a hand here. I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Ow. Shit. Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Stay alert. Drive. 
dropkick. This is Mailman 21 Actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. You be careful in there. Dropkick out. Cable split. Let's see what they lead to. This way. Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. Be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. <laughs> he's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. October the 21st, 1946. Crow was the first to break into the tomb, an honor he shared with Bessie, that damned machine gun of his. It was a beast of a weapon, but it seemed to comfort the fellaheen doing the digging. This place has lain undisturbed for centuries. It is not the tomb of Alexander the Great, but a temple of an even older god king, the Akkadian despot, Naram Sin. We have been mistaken, but Lady Bradshaw still declares it a find for the ages, a discovery that will write our names in the annals of history. Looking out at this sceptered hall, I have no reason to doubt her. waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. Trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. 
Gonna rescue him. Let me remind you that I make the decisions. I'll lead the way. Safer if you stay here just in case. Let Nick and I handle it. I'll wait here in case the other units show up.
عندنا لازم يكون للشمس بس في حاجة ضايعة منه Still here, Joey? This is Mailman 21 Actual. Joey, do you hear me? How copy? Over. Check your weapons. Joey's. He's in bad shape. We gotta move fast. This fucking place. Should never come here. Stay focused. Don't let this place fuck with you. Check your sight lines. Don't let this place mess with your head. Deep is that damn wall. This is fresh. That's solid fucking rock. You think these things got through it? I don't really want to stick around and find out. We know what we're facing now. Eyes wide. Stay frosty. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. Radio check, over. He's hit bad. Not much we can be sure of. Something really fucking nasty went down here. Seventh of December, 1946. Our finds have been so spectacular, I couldn't resist breaking out with champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below.
What the hell did they find down there? Hurry the fuck up! You may not be alone. Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 Actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 Actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. We can kill it, 
You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. I'm ready. Let's do it. Stop pointing your guns at me! I don't want to hurt you. Your uniform tells me something different. Drop your fucking weapon, do it now! No, you lower yours first. Drop your weapon before I fucking drop you! You pull that trigger and I swear to Alibaba and the 40 Thieves is the last fucking thing you'll do! I didn't come this far to die by a trigger. Happy American! Okay, enough! There's no point in fighting. Not anymore. I ought to put one through your fucking skull. It won't change anything. I'd still be in this hell. Don't tempt me. We're heading back to the temple. Tie him up. If he tries anything, put him down. After all we've been through? Thanks a lot. Suit yourself. How many of your men are here? Were you guarding chemical weapons? We're close, aren't we? Tell me where you've hidden them. Answer me! You have no idea what you're dealing with. Did you not lay your eyes on the demons? I don't know what I saw. I do. There are monsters down here. Monsters that feed on flesh. Monsters that burn in sunlight.
That's the last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. We should reset that trip wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Oh, never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. Something else. You think? I wonder how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Well, I don't remember them showing much respect for New York City a couple years back. So now all brown people gotta suffer, that it? That's not what I meant. You know me better than that. Yeah, I thought I did. All I'm saying is that this country has its fair share of monsters, right? Does it now? When we're back home, we'll laugh about it. Yeah, maybe you can tell me how you feel about us black folks. Mailman 2 one actual, this is Dropkick. Request update, over. 2 one actual, receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished, over. Good work, Lieutenant. Shoot through the eastern corridor and be on your guard, over. I hear you. Over and out. How many soldiers are present in the tunnels? When the ground collapsed, how many fell down with you? Were you alone when you attacked us earlier? I don't know what you're talking about. Liar! I didn't attack anyone. You attacked me. You attacked my wife. Your wife? Yes. On the cliff, she fell. I am sorry. You will be. I promise you that. How deep does this go? Drop kick. This is Mailman Two One Actual. Approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Full check. Halo's scans have picked up a much larger structure below the temple. Stay on your guard. There's something huge down there. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again. Closest I've been to hell.
blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. get us out of here. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Perfect. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. I'm more likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell a difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right, they won't see this one coming. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells us straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. It's armed. Dropkick, this is Mailman 2 and Actual. It's a maze down here. Is this the signature Kayla's picked up on? Over. That's a negative, Sergeant. Looking at something way deeper. Pull back for now. Drop kick out. Mount a camera here, and let's head back.
You've outdone yourself this time, puppy dog. Nick? Jason? anything good. is that light?
Run. Now, go! Can I ask what her name was? Whose name? Your wife. What was her name? You don't get to talk about her. Please, I don't mean anything by it. It's just... We're stuck here together. You want to talk? All right. Why are you still fighting a war that you've already lost? You think I do this out of choice? That I want to be here? I fight so my son can go to university. So that he can have a better future. Could all use some of that. My son, his name is Zane. Her name was Rachel. Dolce? Don't move. I'm coming straight back. Damn you! Shit! Looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> Down, Corporal Gomez. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. Know that you could fight? Yeah, me either. What was that thing? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not alone. Where have you been? One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. 
You should be thankful I was there to help you. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still? I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm a little glad too. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were going to say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> Something funny you want to share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked, we don't stand a chance. But you keep that to yourself. I'm going to get through this, and if you want to, you better try and keep up.
You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. <sighs> Give me the silent treatment, huh? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Something to get our minds off this place. That thing wasn't any animal I recognize. That's seriously what you want to talk about? Why do you think he left you down there? Pass. All I know is that it got up close and pretty personal. How close? It scratched me to shit and I blacked out. Haven't felt right since. Dizziness. Nausea. Thought it was shock at first, but I can't seem to shake it off. Poison? Possibly. If it is, the effects are gradual. How do we get out of you? How the hell would I know that? You're a scientist. I work on satellites, not neurotoxins. I'm not a biochemist. You've made your point. Chris, what did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! It's okay. I'm here. You can't leave me like this. Not alone. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move. Now! <clears throat> Give me your hand. We're on the wrong side of the chasm. We'll never make it. Don't quit on me now. We have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Where I see it, it's your only hope. We can do this.
I'm not seeing anything come up, but I can hear them. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive. Clever fuckers. They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here was pretty special. All clear for now. If they hit us, my best hunch is it'll be from the chasm. If? You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? <laughs> I tell you, the Colonel could lose his own ass if it wasn't pinned on him. <laughs> You see our absent friend down there? Silly. Nah, he's gone. We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size and their home turf. Sucks to be us. I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. We fix it up, call in the cavalry, even shit up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. Damn it. If Eric had allowed close air support, those birds could have picked up the signal. Trust our price to fuck you in the ass. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. Thing looks like it was sabotaged. How would they do that? We gotta work with what we have. Fall back if anything moves out here. It's safer inside. You sure about that? Ain't that where you lost your Iraqi? He ran off into the tunnels. And he's as good as dead. Nah, he's not one of ours. Fuck him. Good job, Sergeant. Those things will kill you, Sergeant. Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. Fuck that, I need more lighter. What's good? It's nothing. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghosts, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. <laughs> no shit. Embrace the suck. لا لا احنا 
محتاجين الكلاب دول لنخرج من هنا انت اتجننت دول على الديوانة انت ما شفتش الغول في غول هناك هو ده العدو الحقيقي سليم انت اتجننت اسمعني ارجوك اسمعني قتلوا الامريكان وكانوا هيقتلونا انا اخرس وامشي ورايا انت سامعني خالص لا انت اسمعني دلوقتي يا اما تمشي ورايا يا اما خليك هنا وتعفن اختار الله يلعنك وقتل نفسك انا هقعد هنا Get back inside the temple. I'm staying here. I need you on the cameras in case we get flanked. I got this. Lieutenant, I... I said I got this! Go! Got any sense? They'll stay back. Shit is about to get real in here. Wait. Rachel. Rachel.
You're alive? Have any doubt, Marine? Where's Eric? Rach? I'm so sorry. You cut me loose and left me for dead. I had to or we'd both be dead. You have to understand that. <clears throat> Are we good? Tim, isn't it? I understand you're not the brightest, Nick, but even you must know what I'm talking about. You've been fucking him, haven't you? That's the best you got? Stop it! I know it's him, Rach. I know. You better step off before I start swinging. Colonel or no Colonel? Don't, Nick. I tried waiting, Eric. I really did, I'm sorry. Always loyal. Always loyal, huh? You weren't so loyal when you cut the rope. It's good to see you, Rachel. Thought we'd lost you. Who else made it through? It ain't good. Merwin's gone. Those things, they got Joey, Clarice. What is it? Therese was infected. Those things, I don't know how they got inside her. I couldn't take the risk. I had to leave her behind. You telling me Clarice is still out there? That's not Clarice anymore. I saw her changing before my eyes. I believe it. Same thing happened to Joey. <laughs> Sure, every shot counts. All right, go back to the main temple. We can't lose the generator. We're blind without it. I need help. I can't let any of those things through. Already. Can't let any more in. Don't care what they're in by sis. <sighs> Fuck! You gotta be messing with me! 
with me. Okay, now it's about the time we bug out. Any objections? Got any bright ideas? Now's the time. Oh, come on, come on. There's got to be something. Wait. Yes. Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Count. In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that, or we die where we stand. Everyone, move to the east gate. Wasn't one of your better ideas, Rach. Now we're talking. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened, Amter? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. انتي مش في مكان تحدثي Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. Ash Ahban, shut up! I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. What do you think, Colonel? Make the call, Colonel. Tie them up. They show resistance, shoot them. Drop your weapons. 
Okay. All right. It's them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Damn it! Help them! I'll cover the corridor! Shit! Move! place in the goddamn world. Yeah. <sighs> 
You to mess with a Marine. Shoot, shoot! What are you waiting for? I've known many men like you before. You know what they are now. Warm dirt. Didn't realize I was in the company of a fucking war hero. War hero? <laughs> Far from it. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen next. I would like us to put our differences aside. If we fight together, we may get through this. What do you say? Give me back my gun and we got ourselves a truce. A truce it is. I'm a man of my word. I hope you are too. second you're trying to cross me best believe me the following second you're dead i kill vampires you think i'm afraid of a jar head that looks like our best way through one of us holds up the gate the other can slip through I gotta find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, 
It's beginning to look like that. First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. How about you? What'll you do? Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. You seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask. What the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
I say we get the fuck out of here. Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your back, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? You wanna hear a joke? Nope. First of January, 1947, 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. It's cavernous. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. someone for years and never really know them. I have no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? He didn't make it. 
works for me. I'm this bad guy to deal with. A time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. Jack in the box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. You crazy? Those vampires come from anywhere down there. We really want to find them in their own home. What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Rachel found her way back to the light. Well done. All a lie. Although don't get complacent, their lives still hang by a thread. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the Abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies, you cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it.
Smells fried. We're in hillbilly territory. What were you expecting? Cantaloupe caviar? Not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> I recall a certain somebody saying that you wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. What is it? The guy who served me, I, I don't know, he was, he was looking at me pretty strange. Yeah, it probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often, especially one who's showered. <laughs> I mean, he was saying some weird shit. Such as? It's nothing we should go. No, come on, tell me. He said I'll never again be as happy as I am now. What the hell's that mean? You don't believe him, do you? Of course not. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. It doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See? I told you. Next time, all you have to do is whistle, and I'll come running to defend your honor. Oh, like my very own loyal puppy dog. Semper Fi. He means always loyal. I'm more than capable of looking out for myself. Now get your feet off my dash, you hillbilly. I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Right. Eric. It's malfunctioning. Colonel, you gotta go! You too, Nick, you're coming with us! Come on, Ray!
Thank me later. Let's move out. Think that thing's gone? Look like it went down that tunnel. He's alive. Jason's alive. Maybe things aren't going so badly after all. Back there, oh. Thanks for looking out for me. All right, let's find Kolchak. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Let's go. It's time. It's absolutely not the time. Rachel, I know you said to put things on ice, but you can't pretend like this didn't happen. I'm done lying. Especially with you wearing your ring again. He's right. It is time. Roll it out for us. Now? Right fucking now? Yes, now. We may not have another chance. Fine. Eric, you and I, we had something very special, but that was a long time ago. Him? You're choosing him. This isn't about choosing. It's about knowing what's best for me. I don't have feelings for you, Eric. Not anymore. You either, Nick. We're done. I don't believe it. Believe it. We were over a year ago. I don't need anyone's help to climb out of this hell. So now you both know. Maybe we can stop fucking around and go find... seen some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them, or...? I'll need to be a smart ass. Let's move.
What is that? Cocoon? It looks like those things came from here. <laughs> Smells like formaldehyde. So when did you become a scientist? They don't teach you American science at school. We should stay clear of it. Belongs to Randolph Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. That didn't help him. Ah, shit. Mary Hodgson. She's got to be his wife. Their story didn't end so well. Jason. What? I can't end up like this. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal healing her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. said what the fuck is this place We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. It's a fucking gig. It is. 
My boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I... We were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. Woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered. I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I uh. I had to make a call. Nick. He shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. This, this bullshit, I'm not here to honor the dead. The truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? When those towers were hit, I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her. And we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. Would you have mine? We go inside there and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Oorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey. Whatever happens out there, I got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way.
What is this? things come from. I think so. The question is, where the hell are they? these creatures no it's possible we've got this wrong way around what's that supposed to mean maybe we're intruding on them Exactly the chatty type. We shouldn't underestimate them. Look at this place. Those things are intelligent. This moth is everywhere. Is it just me or is it alive? Holy shit. 
shit. Look at him. Check out that armor. This guy's goddamn biblical. Shit! Did, did, did you see that? I think he's still alive. Oh, that's impossible. In this place, everything's possible. Holy shit! Fucker's been alive all this time, just sitting here with half a head. Fluid. It must have preserved his flesh, his brain. What should we do? We can't leave him like this. Well, shit. He's had enough time to get used to it. I'm serious. Oh. The noise will attract the vampires. I'll do it. تحت الوقت في موتك Thank <laughs> you. 
Shit, Nicky. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. Colonel, you made it. Now, crawling through that tunnel was a highly unpleasant experience. <laughs> Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. I'm glad you're here, man. This place. Is this place? We need a plan. Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got, um, Eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. And one block of composition C4. Well, what about the UV lamp? Took a knock, but I can fix it. Just need a minute. All in is not enough. We've also got this. Ah, it's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still pack a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. Looks like our explorer friends were here too. We should search this place before we move out. There. Got it. Any juicy gossip? It belonged to Mary Hodgson. Of all the topics she wrote about, one thing stood out more than the rest. What's that? She wanted to go home. 
Mary's not the only one, is she? confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. This thing with you, me, and, uh... Forget it, Nick. I'm just saying... Don't. Keep your head clear of everything but the task ahead. It's the only way we'll live. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. None of them made it out alive. Give to see daylight again. Hmm. Daylight and a cold one. That whole mess with you and Nick. It's out in the open, right? It's for the best. Regardless of everything else, secrets keep you sick. Is in it for him. Is it really all about these tablets? Here, let me help you. It's fine. I've done it before. I've done it many times since. Sorry. Rachel, wait. I'm sorry. You always were better at changing this thing than I was. If you need me, I'm here for you. Let's 
singing. Are you okay? There's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. believe that these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? <sighs> then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? A madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Rachel! Rachel? Rachel! 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 Rachel, look at me. She has it. It's inside her. Sorry.
seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. And we lost Rachel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, do more than fry a few vampires and create a diversion. Selim, you ready? I am. Okay then, let's get loose, kids. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Six detonator. If I don't make it, Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. First dynamite is down. Over. Which way? Left or right?
shit. It's getting kind of hairy down there, brother. Why don't you ditch the rest of those charges and head back? Look at that, man. It's the mud road. It's too far. All right, I'm heading back. Push the button! God said, feels like this whole damn place is coming down. It's Salim, he's still alive. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? I am surrounded. I'm in the real trouble here. Vampires. So many vampires. What's there to think about? We go back down there. He's a dead man. We need to go. That man is not one of us. You're wrong. Salim is one of us now. Marines don't leave their own behind. You hear him, Miss Salim? Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. Join the fun. They just throw that thing at me. I did. Let's get out of here.
kill you. Oh man, that was unfucking believable. Those things were all over us, but me and Salim busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> Listen up, I'm not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that, best of the best. We will get home. Ooh, Ooh rah. Ooh, rah. <laughs> <laughs> See some? Never should have brought her here. You stay with me, buddy. <laughs> we got two alive. Very fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Drop kick to Coyote 2. Radio check. Over. This is Coyote 2. Solid copy. Evac units 
Units are being prepped. ETA five hours. Wait. Over. We got back up again. We beat the enemy. Look. Look around you. So quiet. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. Man, look at this place. We made a mess of it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! We can hold them off. Interesting knowing you.
I need to see my boy. A souvenir. Shalim, wait. Good luck, brother. You wish Zane a happy birthday from me. Thank you, Jason. Goodbye, my friend.
survivors. Returning to base. Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the darkness. Survival often comes at a great cost, a cost that others sometimes must pay. I look forward to our next encounter, perhaps. I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. You're late, and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Salim. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! And Rachel King? You really want the gore detail? I want all the details. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go down there yourself and have a look-see? Then we can talk, if you make it out alive. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. Nothing to show. He walked. The hell's that mean? By the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Could be across the border by now. Sneaky son of a bitch. Now I see why Kolchak enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They use dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all his sake. They're all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. 
These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. After all, most of your team didn't make it back alive. And I'll have to live with that. Let's move on to Kayla's. Dear God. There's barely anything left to identify. You read her profile. Yeah. She could have gone far. If this hadn't happened. We still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. You're a small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you?